It's an epic battle of good versus evil, fought by wizards, warriors, and stockbrokers. I came here and I was like, grown-ups do this, yes. We go on to the front lines of live-action role-playing. Does everyone have treasure? It's all just ahead as G4 goes underground. <laughs> playing known as LARPing is a game where players dress up in costumes, go on quests, and combat each other. And if that weren't extreme enough, we found a group that has taken it to a whole new level. Each campaign is planned with a military precision that would put Civil War reenactors to shame. Only this is a war between elves, orcs, and humans. We embedded our crew on the first day of battle to catch all the action of costumed combat. A LARP is a movie where rather than going to watch the film and watch the characters, you instead play them yourselves. LARP is an acronym that stands for Live Action Role Play. What makes it different from playing a video game or a tabletop game, there's the immersion in it. You can really completely lose yourself from the real world for a couple of days. It's great stress reliever. This is fun. This is what people do to relax and get away from real life and really get in and go, you know what, for the next 48 hours, I don't have to be a father of two. For the next 48 hours, I am a defender of the woodland. Basically, we go into a medieval setting and you interact with other players also playing their own characters and follow a series of storylines which can end anywhere from that single event to several years down the line. My name is Tom. I'm the uh, co-writer and co-director of this event. Because of the numbers, when we go in for role play, we got to make sure that they really pop and they really stand out. So really think about your characters before you go out. I also play the role of General Tagus Rydic. Remember when you were little and you'd pick up a stick and you'd run around pretending to be like, an, like a soldier or something? I did that till I was like 15 and then everyone thought I was weird. I came here and I was like, grown-ups do this, yes. <laughs> you get people from all different walks of life. Doctors, lawyers, military personnel, police officers, firefighters. When you get here, you take that part of the real world and you separate it out and the characters become what you do for the next two to three days. Sometimes you need a vacation from yourself. I, yeah. I, you need a vacation from what you do on a regular day-to-day -day basis, and that's why you come out and do stuff like this. The great and powerful alchemist Maddox have all kinds of stuff that you can spend your money on. He wants you to buy it so bad because you make it so good. I do. We're in Montrose, Pennsylvania, um, at the Fair Place site. It's a big 44-acre campsite that they built up here, uh, you know, to entertain all of us. Got it. I wanted to run some more random stuff tonight just to give people like you know, some more combat, but it's just too darn cold. Yeah, it's too cold, it's too late, and that makes it not safe. Yeah. yeah. My name is Ali, and I'm assistant head of plot, co-director, and co-writer of this event. My name is Michelle, and I'm the head of plot for the headquarters chapter of Alliance LARP. So yeah. Cut that out. We're not going to need it for, for no, the rest no, of the Guys, event. before we even start looking at the schedule, story-wise, where are we going with this afterwards at this point? Alliance LARP as a whole has been running for about 15 years. There are some storylines that have been going on for the duration of the chapter and that have just evolved over the course of those 15 years. But there are always new stories being told. And every season, there's something new. So that's done. we got to make sure the Spelunking gets in because they haven't found it yet. We as a writing team have been planning and writing the event for the last five months. It's been written like a choose-your-own-adventure book, and it's up to the players to choose what happens. Ah! 15 summer! 15 summer! 15 summer! 15 summer! The storyline that we're resolving over this event has been a war for about five years. The general that's in charge of that army, which is going to be played by me, is going to be marching into town. And now they're the elite cadre, and it's going to be coming to their doorstep. Most of the time, you can serve your energy for that big last battle that's going to happen. You, everybody knows it's coming, and it's going to be epic. Come in here, spar, get your energy up, get the adrenaline going. Just get your back in the movement of it. Get your arm muscle memory going. Right now, we're getting everybody out the door. We're getting ready for the battle. These guys are all going to meet me down by the tree line past the tents. 
Don't go across oh, the footbridge. Right Don't go past the footbridge. Right like by going downhill? No, it's where we're going to come up into town. Is everybody statted? Does everyone have treasure? Thank Five you. lives. Every, uh, like, give the stuff out on the odd lives. Okay. We could have, you know, a hundred people who all need to be prepped, costumed, made up, and so it's it's a lot of prep that goes into it. You go with your makeup. I'm good with my makeup. I just need to pull something real quick, and then I'm ready to go. I just need to be treasure. Cool. Yeah. Rock on. Make sure all the sergeants are ready. Yep. Make sure the yeah, they're, are ready. Yeah, they look like they're ready already. Cool, cool. All right, all right cool. you ready? I'm, all right, I'm ready. I'm, let's make this happen. It's going to be good. Right? Just watch. Yeah, it's going to be a good fight. So now we've gone from setting everything up into taking it into the in-game environment. We now have to become those roles. For the next hour, I am no longer Tom, the guy that wrote the event. For the next hour, I now have to become Tagus Rydic, a general who has a thousand years of battle experience. He is a stern disciplinarian, you know, unstoppable force that has crushed entire kingdoms. Ready? Three, two, one. I come out of the woods one. I come out of the woods two. I come out of the woods three. Rest! 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 Rydic Legion! Ocha! When you're in the middle of the scenario that is bigger than yourself and the story almost becomes a lie, at that point you've got all that emotion and all that energy that you're putting into one single action and at the instant that that happens, bam! It's just a huge experience. They actually did get the bad guy this time. Um, Tom wearing all the fancy uniform. They're now throwing him in a ward, which means he's stuck in there. He can't leave. Three years I've been hunting him. Sometimes what actually happens in the game it could be a tragic event. It could be a war breaking out. It could be somebody dying. But if the people, the players, are immersed in it, they walk away going, it's kind of like if you walk out of a movie, like, oh, that was a great story. <laughs> we all have novels or movies or stories that we love of the epic hero, the dastardly villain, but by taking it into this microcosm, it makes everything larger than it is in real life. We create this alternate world that we can all build together. Although the group of LARPers we covered are a bit on the extreme side, it's not uncommon for campaigns to last several days, longer than some actual wars. I'm Morgan Webb, see you next time on G4 Underground.